All right, YouTubers, here we go. Um, for those of you who have this program or are trying to get Gear 360 Action Director and don't have the product key, well, let's go through this and we'll get it for you. You don't need the product key. You just need the uh, actual camera itself. And I will show you right here how to activate it without the product key. So here we go. First thing, if you've already got the Action Director download it onto your computer and this pops up the product key you can't find it it's nowhere in your box the company didn't send it don't know what happened to it um we're just gonna have to delete uninstall actually uninstall the gear 360. now there's a hundred ways to do it whichever best way works for you just make sure you uninstall the previous version that you have Gear 360 and then we will go to the next step I'm gonna do it this way of course the video might go a little bit quicker than you're actually doing it but just hang in there I know it's You'll see the icon go away. Wherever it is on your desktop, it won't be there once it's uninstalled. It's frustrating. I know he was like, man, I couldn't get it. I can't get this on. Well, I can't figure out why. You know, you try to do all kinds of stuff, but this right here will work. Because you can act, it actually stitches your stuff together, so you don't have to go through all it. It takes time to stitch it together, but you just drag it into the program and it stitches it for you. So here we go. Okay, go on to uh, the internet. Go to Samsung.com because you got direct. You got to download it directly from the website. It's a it's a different prompt than you would get from just going and downloading the program from another site. And you'll have to um, log in, sign in there. If you don't have a sign up or you're not uh, in their system, just log in, make a name, and uh, Make an account, set up an account. It won't take long. I log in with Google, but you can log in with Facebook, however, however you want to do it, but just uh, sign up an account. And if you haven't signed up yet, you might just want to pause this part so that you can uh, make that account and then come back to this spot. Okay, then we're going to go up to the search engine. Once you finally signed in, have an account, you're going to go to the search engine and click in uh, Action Director or Gear 360 Download Action Director. You'll find it. I mean, it's it's on their site. I'm not exactly sure how I typed it in. Yeah, I went to Support here. Typed in uh, Action Director Download. Yeah, went to this page and put in another keyword, which is, there it is, install Cyberlink Action Director software. And this is the one you want. This is the page you want. PC or Mac, you choose whichever one you want. I'm using a PC here, so I'm going to show you how we uh, went about it that way. But if you have a Mac, you'll click Mac. Same prompt, same thing, but click on PC. Okay, this will come up and you're going to save the file. And this is why you have to make sure your other one's deleted because we want to get the new program in there and it has different prompts on there so that you don't need the product key. You can use your serial code that's on your device or you can use the uh, just device plugin by USB. Okay, then we're going to open it up. Yours might take a little longer, but positive hasn't got this far yet. And then... Uh, down here it shows double, uh, Gear 360. I'm just going to double click that and that should start downloading the app. I 
Once again, that's going to take a while, so at least it's on my computer. I don't have the fastest computer in the world, but it's not, i7 is not real slow, but it's not real fast either. Let's see. Um, okay, just keep on. I'm just closing out these programs. You don't have to do that, but I just want to get off the internet and stuff. So it gets to here. It's going to take a little bit longer. I think I fast forwarded it here. But, um, okay, install shield. Still installing. It'll take a while to install. I think it's like a gigabyte of program, so it's going to take a little bit. Okay, this is the part you want to see right here. Bingo, installing, yes. And then, yeah, next, whatever, you just keep on clicking OK, just to move forward to the next one. And then you'll see the icon, it should appear on your desktop. And then the finish. Okay, finish. And then you're going to click on the the, uh, the shortcut, your app. Open the app. And there, that should pop up. This is a good sign. Okay, you click on the 360 video, or click on really any one of them. But there, now you have different prompts. Check your Gear 360 to your PC, or check the serial number of your Gear 360. And then the bottom one is the product key, which we didn't have, or we wouldn't be looking at this video. So we're going to use one of the two up top. We're going to use the top one, uh, Connect Your Gear 360. You're just going to plug in your Gear 360, and this is the fun part, because uh, you want to make sure your Gear 360 is powered on when you do this. And because if it's not, you see unable to connect, something might happen there. So you might want to make sure that it's powered on before you get there. And if you, it still doesn't go, it says unable to connect, close out of gear 360, reopen it, power your thing back on again, and plug it back in until finally it registers it. There's also the serial number for your gear 360, which you can find on your gear 360 if you uh, look into your settings and stuff. You can get the serial numbers from the actual mote piece itself. But um, we're just going to do that. And then we click gear 360 now. This is the one where it actually booted in because I reconnected it and opened it up. So we're going to click Next. I'm connecting to the Gear 360 straight to the PC. Now I'm plugging it in. Here it ding, ding. Hit Next. There, show me by 360 there. And this is the part that we've all been waiting for. Drum roll. No, thanks. I don't want to participate in that. Close. And there we go. If you've gotten this far, you have 360 now. And you're able to drag and drop your 360 files into this. And it will stitch them together for you. Which is very cool because learning how to stitch and do all that fun stuff can take way too much time. So, there we go. And that's how it's done. We now have Action Director into our PC or Mac, and we didn't have to use the product key. Thank God, because I didn't get a product key. And that's it. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe.